Hey, I'm Charlie with Process Flow Pros and Monday.com Certified Partner. In this video, we're going to do a quick overview of the uh, pro plan for Monday.com CRM. So you know, Monday has certain tiers. They have like the basic, the standard, the pro plan and enterprise. This is just going to focus on, you know, just overview, generally speaking, what are the features and functionalities within the pro plan and what do you get? So let's get started. All right, so I've navigated over to the Monday CRM, and the first thing we're looking at is the leads board. So what is Monday? How does it work? And what do you get out of the box? So the first thing you want to know, is, or you should know, is the foundation of Monday is built on these things called boards. And boards, as you can see here on the left, are, you can almost think of them like tables or spreadsheets, and each spreadsheet tab is kind of like a board. And within the boards, you have rows and columns. And each column has a functionality type. Like here, you have the status column. And you can change the status of a lead however you like. You can actually edit the labels for it. You can move them around. You can change the colors. And then you can add many different column types beyond just status. So if you click three dots here, you go to add column to the right. Here are some just basic suggestions. And then there's more columns here. And then there's, you know, several different column types. There's probably 20 odd, maybe 30 something column types. And there actually are AI based ones now as well. So you can extract data and do summarizations with AI. So the next thing for the foundation of how Monday sets up their CRM is workspaces. So here you can see I have quite a few different workspaces here. You could do a workspace for just your CRM purpose. And then you can have another CRM or another workspace for say project management. So when you first start out, you get the ability to create a whole CRM workflow. So the Monday CRM actually comes with a standard set of boards. Right now we are in the leads board, but you have leads, contacts, deals, projects, accounts, and activities. And within each one you have items and the item names are based off the board type. So we are in the leads board, so we have leads as our item type. And if you click on open, you can then see the overview of what a lead looks like and the communications for you, what your sales reps are doing with your leads, how they're doing the qualification process, all the information from the columns on the right here. And then once you integrate, so if you click this wheel here or integrate, you can integrate Gmail and you can actually see the email communications between uh, the sales reps here. You can create new emails, exchange emails using the uh, you know specified email address here. And then you can actually create templates for, who, for your sales reps. And then you can create these views at the top here. And views could be like Gantt charts, calendar views, Kanban views, things like that. But more importantly, in the leads board, you have this thing called uh, lead forms. And in these leads forms, you can actually share them as a QR code, or you can embed them on your website. And if you want to see an example of that, if we go and navigate to my website, get free consultation, here's kind of like my, my contact us form. So if someone fills this out, it will automatically populate here in the main table. And then um, my sales reps can go and then qualify our leads. So once you've kind of gone through your leads, you're going to usually either create a contact or some deal out of it. So there's multiple ways you can go about doing this. You could create a button where you move it over to contacts or you could create some other automations. There's, uh, you know, Monday is a very flexible and customizable platform that doesn't have a lot of things already finished for you. So you actually need to build some of it yourself. But that is kind of like the endless possibilities with Monday. So. Now that I've moved the item over here, you can see it populated by the automation. Now you can see the look and feel of the contacts board is very similar to the leads board. You can see all the email communication here, board info. You can see what accounts it's going to be associated with. So you'll manually have to set up set this up at least one time once there's a two-way connection, connection with the account and then whatever deal it's associated with and the deal value will mirror over. And then if we had any other information from the lead here, it would have populated. Now looking over at the accounts board, you can manually add them up here. And then 
another way you can add them is through some type of importing. So if you want to do like a CSV import or one of these third party app migrations, you can do that. And then another way to add items in, in any of the boards, you can actually set up a field or form. So like I did this in the leads board. If you set up the form, you can make it so say your sales reps are filling out all the information you need in a lead or a deal or at least just some like key things. So if you see the little red asterisk here, I have required uh, name there. So if we go back to the accounts, you can see just like with the leads and deals boards, if you press the plus sign here, there's just these core account columns that it comes with. And now we're going to go over to the deals board, probably kind of seeing what the theme is. All the look and feel is gonna be very similar. It's all based on these columns and the data that you put in these columns. So if you wanna get the deal value, you know, the expected close date, close probability. And then you're gonna have that same email communication here based off of the, the contacts that are associated with the deal. Now, what's really cool about Monday is the automations. And that's kind of like the thing that stands out with Monday and, the, and with the pro plan. So with the pro plan, you have a lot more. You have, I think it was like 25,000 automations and or the, uh, the plans below it don't have quite enough. So I usually recommend people go with the pro plan so they can set these up. They're going to save you a ton of time and they're going to make things way easier for you. So here's a simple automation. When stage changes to discovery, then notify me. You can update that that however you want. You can create a new one uh, from, uh, from scratch if you want to. It's all using just words and not using code and you don't have to know how to do code or anything. You can use templates if you want. They have these pre-built templates and they have templates based on the different apps that and tools you're using. So if you click on integrate, you can look at more integrations. They have, you know, Gmail, Google Drive, Google Calendar, Slack. And here are some of the automations you can set up with say Slack. Now, if we're going to, um, try and visualize this data, we would create a dashboard. So if you click the plus sign here, dashboard, you can then uh, look at all the data you have in your boards. So you can look at it using these things called widgets. So you have numbers, charts, Gantt charts. You have quite a selection, kind of like with the column types. So here you can select the settings for a pie chart or you, if you wanna change it to a bar chart or a line graph or a bar graph, you can do that. Here are the labels based off of the columns we wanna get the values for and lots of different ways to customize and then filter out some of your dashboard widgets. All right, so we've covered the dashboards here. Now you're probably wondering, how do I do some of the actual management of these projects once I have you know, sold my products and services? So you could actually create another board. This one already comes with Monday uh, CRM is the project board. And you can have it automatically create a new project whenever you close a deal. And then you can create subtasks for each project, assign them to individuals. You can connect your deal here, your contact and accounts so that you have that end to end data transparency from the lead to the deal being closed to the project completion. And then, like I said before, you could create some views for say like a Gantt chart to follow the projects along, but say you don't want to have all of your sales and project management mixing together in one workspace. You could come over here, create a project management workspace, or you could actually buy the work management platform or product. And then it has a little bit more project management oriented uh, functionality that maybe will be better better suited for you. And then you can do connect board columns so that you can then mirror data between them so you still have your data transparency because you can do that over workspaces, boards, and products. All right, so what are some other things that are in Monday besides managing all these boards? Well, you have your mass emailing, quotes and invoices and sequencing. So say we're on the contacts board and we want to email everybody here. We can do that either as a sequence or mass emailing. So mass emailing is just going to be a one one time email. Nobody's going to see that you're emailing a bunch of people at one time, but you can come in here, you know, add the column type for the item name and then send out the emails. Or you can create a sequence or add it to a sequence. So if I go to my sequences here, 
I can continue building on a sequence I already have here. So I can have an automatic email going out to day one, a manual email day two, and then I can set a reminder to do a call on say like day three, four or five. And then I can set up some rules for, uh, for the sequence. So like say for instance, when uh, remove contact if they reply to an email in the sequence or remove contact if they open an email in the sequence. So not necessarily all the functionality you'd see in something like maybe a MailChimp or whatever, but it still has quite a bit. And you can actually integrate MailChimp with the Monday integrations as well. It's also an option. And then another one of the functionalities that you have in Monday is quoting and invoicing. So here I actually did a connect board column with my deal so that I have an association between the quote that went out with the uh, with that deal. So if I just want to show you what the templates, you can they're fairly flexible. You can actually use the data from your boards to populate here. So you don't have to you know, remember all the information for people's names and um, some of the data for your services and, and things like that. They'll automatically be able to populate in there. Thanks for watching. That was a quick overview of Monday.com's pro plan and all the features and functionalities. That wasn't necessarily an exhaustive overview, but it just kind of gives you the gist of what you're going to get using Monday CRM. If you'd like to know more or want a more in-depth look into it, feel free to watch one of our other videos or there's links in the description below for our website and we could do a quick consult with you to help you out and see what plan's best for you. Thanks for watching.